snow up. Alright. Okay, well, snow, that's good. It'll be easier to complete the achievements. Oh. This mission is just yeah. like, totally messed up before. <laughs> yeah, you might want to use the dark thing. Well, not the dark, but the crossbow that makes people go to sleep. That puts, well, that puts people to sleep. Yeah. Uh, you probably want to go stealth with this as much as you can. Hot spy action. Hot spy action. <laughs> That's something we don't get enough now. Yeah, hot spy action. Hot spy action. I like, back in the day, there was like, the PC game, there was like a hot spy action kind of one, but there was like, uh, Rekko, that had a female spy, as the protagonist. Rekko was appeared on the PC. That was like a, Rekko, British kind of. This stuff is kind of Austin Powers like. What was that game? Austin Powers? Well, it's not, like, well, you know, like. 60s flower power British like design, right? Oh, uh, yeah, there was some. There was some, but I forget the name of that game. I never played it because I was on PC and they're back then, but. I keep on hearing people saying they wish they could damn, uh, that they like remastered that game or something. Hmm. Because apparently it was a really good game. Let's see, what was it? I used the crossbow and then I punched him yeah. in the head. Yeah, and then like, <laughs> heads of bubble. Apparently, that's what the Sally up was saying last week. Oh, I'll have to see if I can uh, succeed at that then. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And if the alarm goes off, it's the it's game over. Uh, you failed the mission. The alarm yeah, I off. need the. We've got a contact. And you can't see his head. <laughs> well, try punching him anyways. See if I can make his his head bobble. Try dunking. Yeah, once he's not down, he's not down. Well, you are supposed to be able to, but um, uh, I think because he's halfway through the wall, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Is this the alarm? The invisible people. <laughs> Dangerous. I'm going to switch to your uh, bow gun. Also the signs for... Yeah, I guess I'll try to keep it on the bow gun, huh?
Fists are one behind the bow gun. Let's see if I can succeed yet. Secondary shot is insta kill. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yeah. Well, if you have a if you have a chance to try punching someone to knock that out, and then doing that. There's no way through while those lasers are active. Should be able to spy on the meaty mm -hmm. this Using time. The, uh, bot thing, huh? yeah. the first person movement in this game is so good. Yeah, it's done really well. Yeah, it just has a nice, a really nice flow to it, huh? Not just, just smooth frame rate, but the flow of the motion. Here's the cam spy. Let's see. We've recovered the sapient from Carrington <laughs> and altered its programming. It no longer has a personality, so there will be no further incidents. This will reduce its efficiency. My team will have to take it to the core themselves. This will endanger them. You should have anticipated that the sapient might develop a troublesome moral code. It has pretty good textures. Yeah. No one could have predicted that, and I resent being singled out for blame. What about him? After visiting uh, Kojima Productions, he's uh, at this overestimated your corporation. <laughs> over him. That was bizarre. No, that was perhaps really I good. underestimated him. I'm not surprised though. Does we have a contingency he, he plan ready to go, desperate and we too. will move Probably. as soon as the presidential honorage arrives at the airport. Or he he likes all more. I need from the president is a tissue sample. No, it'd be hilarious if if he was in either of those and like the uh, will, uh, Willie's Wonderland. He says nothing. <laughs> I think Willy's Wonderland is one of my favorite uh, movies. I, I think, I, I think, I think that is the best and uh, fully <laughs> operational. <laughs> we can intercept any I sing a lot, but yeah, I, I really, I thoroughly enjoyed that. We gave you a working correctly. And, and I, I enjoyed that. Believe anything which uh, how unfazed he was by the, those demonic that. puppets. Yeah, that was so awesome. He just, he just did not care. He just had a stone face. He just. Absolutely didn't give a shit about demonic and uh, robotic furries that are murdering people. Uh oh. Someone. Is that the one? Does that mean it's over? I don't think so. Check the objectives. Just that he did not set off the alarm before the sequence. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, seems like it's okay. You just, if you, yeah. 
if you set the alarm off, probably, the meeting doesn't happen. Yeah, I probably have to. I have probably have to witness the meeting before yeah. the alarm goes off. Well, I'm it's sure just... the meeting won't go off. Make sure the alarm goes off. Uh, my reaction is Xbox Showcase and uh, Starfield Direct and, uh, was uh, pretty awesome. No. It was freaking. <laughs> I'll have to look forward to it, especially Starfield. I was looking forward to Starfield in person, but man, my hype is, uh, my hype is at, uh, notches unknown. <laughs> Pretty sure I'll be playing Starfield for a long, long time. <laughs> yes, indeed. I might not ever finish the game. <laughs> yeah, it might never happen. Yeah, with, with games that you just have so much that you can freely do, that kind of happens with me once in a while. I still haven't uh, finished the uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. In fact, I haven't even unlocked some... Uh, um, uh, what was it? Dead Eye. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I've... You played that for like 30 hours and you never reached the point of, that you unlocked Dead Eye. Yeah, actually, I you, you were just monkeying around so much. Yeah, I was just... That was, that was ridiculous. Yeah, I was just wandering around so much and just having fun with the world. Hunting and, and like fishing and, and um, uh... Hog tying people, riding them around, throwing them off cliffs, putting them on <laughs> tracks, railroad tracks. Yeah. That kind of mischief. Pretty, pretty cr cruel stuff you were doing. Yeah, I need to go back to that game and finish it. Yeah. I saw, well, although I haven't, uh, well, one of the other reasons why I haven't finished that yet is I did see you go through almost all of it, so I know the story. We've recovered the safe gift from Carrington and altered its programming. So it's a limited time. Well, almost all of it. I went through the entire game. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, I saw almost all of it, right? This will reduce its efficiency. I mostly watched you play all of it. So, uh, yeah, so, with the limited time I have for gaming, I'm, uh, it's hard to motivate myself to dedicate all the time in clearing that game, especially with a game where I just aimlessly wander around for like eternity. <laughs> I guess if the alarm doesn't go off, it's a little bit more. They aren't in panic mode, so that's good. Maybe I killed killed them quick enough that they didn't do anything. Yeah, the alarm isn't going off right now, so it's not yet. Fun. Yeah. So I should probably try to keep it that way. Come here. Yeah. 
to open the vault and it takes like a minute was it uh, I, I thought it so. was gonna explode and I meaninglessly ran away yeah that was goofy mm -hmm. goofy and unneeded here it is safe's heavily encrypted the decoders gonna yeah, take so. a little longer going yeah. back to the yeah. Xbox yeah. show first uh, they started it off with fables that was a pretty awesome game yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's and pretty it, funny. Yeah, and it has it has the the payroll goofiness. The, the I mean the payroll goofiness. Yeah. The um, a very very British start. <laughs> yeah. The first trailer to use the word wanker. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and I really really like that trailer. It's awesome. Yeah. It was both epic, funny, and awesome. <laughs> yeah. And I assume that what they showed was the boss battle. Oh, with the, with the giant. giant. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure he's probably, you probably be friends with that, maybe. Yeah. I would like to be friends with that giant. With the giant, uh, uh vegetable farmer. Yeah. <laughs> he seems like a really cool character, so I hope, I hope you don't kill him. But of course, you can kill almost anyone in the original Fables, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, just, maybe, just, maybe they'll give you the choice, huh? I guess, huh? yeah, probably. I did so much evil yeah. in Fable. Oh, that was, it was hilarious, huh? You, 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 you like had glowing red eyes and horns. Yeah. Bath going on. It's also, um, uh, well, it's also interesting that, um, uh, there's a small group of people that continue to insist that it's like CGI, but it's in game and uh, real time. Captured on the uh, Xbox Series X, and I, I just saw the uh, couple of the developers that were working on it. That's actually the best compliment you can get that people thought it was CGI, <laughs> which I, which is like a great compliment. It's like, wow, we, we did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks gorgeous. That's another game that I'm just gonna sink so much time in. Um, uh, I think, uh, I was saying, uh, what it? They actually didn't say what time. They didn't even say 2024, huh? Yeah, Yeah, but... so, the rumors were, in first case, the rumors were it would be a 2025 game, so... Yeah, maybe, so. maybe early 25? Early to mid, maybe. There was the chicken kicking. Yeah. The game too, so Ye I'm, old chicken I'm hoping that since you can kick the chicken, uh, that the, there's still crunchy chickens in the game. Yeah. The, the, the thing that always makes you laugh when, uh, when you eat it, that people are just disgusted. Uh, like once in a while, someone will bark if you oh. eat a crunchy chicken in front of them. Oh, I'm really, I see it. <laughs> And it's also funny that, like, when you do, like, vulgar stuff, like, thrusting your pelvis and stuff, a lot of people are mortified by it, but some people just laugh. And, and, so, and so, some kinky people are turned on to, like, yeah, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's such a good game. Yeah. The Fable trailer was pretty awesome. That was yeah. some gameplay in it too. Uh, the um, uh, South of Midnight trailer was really cool yeah, too, by Composer. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Contrast was a really cool game. Uh, I bought the complete version of um, uh, We uh, Happy Few. We Happy Few. I still haven't gone through it. <laughs> I should, but yeah. Uh, it looks really cool. It's really, really my type of game. Uh, my direction is fantastic. It has yeah. 
a nice kind of, it's 3D, but it has a nice kind of illustrated approach, almost. It's obviously 3D, but it, it has a nice hand-painted, illustrated kind of, uh, Ooh, I made it this time. Oh, good. Uh, art direction in it, and the, I'm really hoping the game itself is like the trailer that we showed. The trailer is real-time, uh, well, in, in, um, uh, so I'm really hoping that the gameplay itself is a similar, is, well, is the same art direction and having, especially on the animation side, I, I would like it to have that kind of, um, uh, stop motion kind of animated uh, characters. That would be so awesome. Kind of, you know, I kind of like the, I guess the, um, uh, the Spider-Man, Spider-Verse movies are kind of like that too. They, um, uh, emphasize, um, uh, the, uh, the bold animations and, and slightly kind of, you know. New cheap, small chill. Small chill. Caricaturized animations that give it a nice kind of dynamic feel, um, uh, similar to, uh, like stop motion animation. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy that, uh, that, that way of animation. You know, Guilty Gear is kind of like that too, to mimic, um, uh, to mimic hand-drawn animation. They, um, actually don't put all the frames in, um, uh, for the animations to give it that kind of hand-drawn feel to it. I hope the, um, uh, South of Midnight keeps that kind of direction with the animations, because I thought it was really cool. Yeah. Also, since I like blues, I actually really enjoy the setting too. Yeah. When you're inside the base. Again, pretty, watch pretty out awesome to have that song in it. Yeah. That's one of my favorite blues songs. Yeah. It's, it's also really cool to see a gigantic, like, zombie blues. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, awesome. I hope he comes out in the game as like a Oh my god, character. is that an what? ancient alien? Ancient aliens! <laughs> Any questions? No. Good. Away you go to the hangar. Ancient room. Awesome. I wonder if what's the new perfect dark will keep that alien. Against my better judgment, I'm about to enter Area 51. I would actually kind of like that. For the sake of being realistic, a lot of games like Dismiss aliens and stuff like that in the right now. Uh, me, yeah. I mean, it's a game. Come on. I mean, it's okay to have realistic graphics and kind of slightly bonkers settings. <laughs> yeah. It would be amusing. He's like, he's like shooting at you like James Bond. Right yeah. Then. Like <laughs> half stands and then has his arm behind him and then he's like yeah. twisting towards you. <laughs> that's pretty. That's a pretty epic way to die. Right. Uh, also, uh, well, since we're talking about Fable and South of Midnight, I guess we can kind of cover at least the third party stuff. Third party stuff is we had a hell of a lot of stuff here, so it's kind of hard to cover, I guess. Uh, other than that, uh, they showed the gameplay, well, about, that's scheduled to release, uh, next year, was it? 2024? I think so. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, Compared to the um, uh, announcement trailer, it seems to be a lot more colorful. Uh, and I, I appreciate that it has the, it seems to have the um, uh, obsidian humor in it. Uh, I like that. Uh, uh, yeah, I like that the, um, uh, the blue dude <laughs> um, uh, was quite blue. You know, it's like, you, you say, you say you're on your trust me, but honestly, I'm terrified. <laughs> that's a, that's a good one. But apparently the blue dude is, uh, is one of the main, um, my characters, uh, in the game that helps you out. Um, uh, 
Apparently a neat character. So I'm looking forward to getting to know the know the blue dude. <laughs> the blue dragon like All the blue dudes. The gameplay itself looks really cool. And um uh, actually I appreciate well art art style wise it's um uh, it's, it's of course fantasy, but it's more in line with I guess uh, the outer worlds. Uh, where it's more colorful and vibrant. And apparently the scale of the world itself is similar to. They said the size of the map and everything is... is I think they were saying it's a little bit larger than Outer Worlds, but around that, that size. Which sounds good to me, because um, uh, although I love um, uh, huge worlds to explore, I also like very um, uh, well-fine-tuned worlds that are more like sandboxes, that are fun to have fun rather than just exploring infinitely, right? That are well thought out. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and I really, really enjoyed the album. Um, I thought lengthwise that was uh, just right. Um, I didn't overstay. Um, uh, it was, had a great characters, good fun story. Um, um, I went through that game, um, uh, being a, a, a himbo, I was a, I was a, I was a hot dilf himbo, right? Dilf. I was an, I was an old man, an older man that was muscular and hot, but boy, he had no clue. He was the dumbest guy in the world, but he had a good heart. <laughs> That's the kind of thing. And then I, I chose the ice cream. <laughs> yeah. D disappointing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> what? I, I, ice cream? Okay. <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, so I look, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, it seems like... Well, what the hell's going on? I don't know. Did you step on a mine or something? I have no idea. Huh. So I'm really looking forward to that. It looks like an awesome uh, The magic looks really a um, uh, cool. Yeah. It looks it looks like you can cause a lot of chaos with the magic. And, uh, and uh, I mean, also, apparently there are um, uh, firearms in the game. Like, um, uh, or old school, like rifles. Mm -hmm. Kind of like flintlock rifles, right? From um, uh, world setting wise. So, it sounds like there's a lot you could do with the combat that would be uh, mixing magic with melee or like uh, magic with some uh, flintlock rifles or pistols. Sounds like it would be a lot of fun. They certainly did, yeah. It was fun. So, Sally has left a comment. <laughs> he says, I don't want to die! <laughs> That's one of those things that you, that seems like that I, I think it would never get old playing, replaying this game. <laughs> There's some lines like that in games. Um, uh, in Assassin's Creed and uh, Odyssey, when you set someone on fire or you're using a fire weapon, 
camera and they say like that. Uh, oh my god, I'm on fire. <laughs> that was, uh, the, the, thing, the thing that always made me laugh was, I'm on fucking fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that never got old. Yeah, that oh, was funny every time I heard it. Yeah. Uh, Salia says, how are you doing, YouTube? Oh, uh, pretty good, yeah. That's good to hear. <laughs> yeah, and it's getting hot in Japan. Yeah. Even more. Mm-hmm. Still probably much more hotter um, uh, in Spain from uh, what we heard from last week um, uh, from Salia. Uh, yeah, and I'm doing, uh, fantastic too. Oh, Salio says it's 37 degrees Whoa. Celsius over there. Yeah, that's a lot hotter than here. Uh, over here it was, uh, 30 today. It's supposed to be like 32, uh, on the week, during the weekend, apparently. So still a lot better than Spain, but, yeah. And it's pretty humid over here too, though, so that's kind of grinding. Continues to feel like summer is getting uh, faster and faster. Mm. Salia says, "Yeah, I'm surprised I don't hear Gerudo Valley's theme every time I get out of the house." Yeah, 37 degrees. That's 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 the temperature where I would not go out of the house during the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Some, Some kind of scene would have to be playing in the back that matches that, that heat. <laughs> yeah. Just that <laughs> Yeah, Salia so says, yeah, it's not the kind of hot I want to be. <laughs> Absolutely. Agree with that. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah. I'm gonna have to... It's getting in... Rain season is continuing and um, uh, the heat is going up, the humidity is going up, so I'm going to have to, uh, probably going to have to clean the air conditioners uh, throughout the house. Uh, that also um, uh, work as uh, uh, dehydrators, air dehydrators, because mm-hmm. yeah, things uh, mold very quickly during the summer here, so. Did you do the head wobbling thing? Yeah, the thing is... I tried, but uh, I don't know if it was fixed. It didn't quite work. Yeah. Mm. Tried using the, um, uh, the, uh... Arrow and then punching. Yeah, and then punching their head after they were knocked out. They, they continue to scream every time they're yeah. so they're pretty, obviously not dead. Yeah. <laughs> but their heads didn't wobble. So, I don't know, maybe they fixed that in this version? This is the version that was in the, um, uh, uh, the Rare Replay, was it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But it was also the HD version that was released later. Um, uh, the Xbox Live Arcade version? Yeah. Yeah, Sawyer says, hmm, might be, might be. Yeah, it might have been, because, like, Jenny continued to punch <laughs> the guy's log, and he was like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it was pretty sad and violent. Yeah, it was, it was pretty violent. <laughs> Sounded like I was just torturing them. Yeah. I should look that up on YouTube. I'm sure if I am not checked on YouTube, uh, Perfect Dark Nintendo 64, and, uh, uh, Salio says that door should be unlocked. Weird. That's strange. This one? The two way? Yes. The one is locked. Hmm. Could I possibly have missed something earlier? Maybe. What are your objectives for the stage? 
Shut down air intercept radar. Income. That's, that's probably what you missed. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah that says one right there. Uh oh. I guess I need to head back outside then. That's weird. I was pretty sure I pushed all the switches around. Uh, Sully says, ah, well, that's the problem then. Uh, that's upstairs. Yeah. All the way. <laughs> Ouch. Yes. Uh, this is your lot. The clumsy Jenny quality. <laughs> yeah. You gotta forgive me though because I. It's the first time I'm doing it, so. <laughs> to I, I get totally confused sometimes. So, oh, yes, as we thought Resident Evil was peak backtracking, but no. <laughs> Yeah, some of the older games uh, were designed to do things in a uh, specific, uh, like, arrangement. Yeah. And, yeah, that happens once in a while when you play older games, so, like, you have to go way, way back to do something. To yeah. Do yeah. And especially in um, uh, Sucks when it's like an RPG or something, and, like, yeah. you have to go, like, halfway around the world to... Go do something to progress the story. Back, <laughs> back when they didn't have fast travel. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to go back anyway, so. So he says, back when you couldn't sleep and recover because okay, enemies were in Yeah, that happened a lot back then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, all was entertaining. Yeah. I kind of, you know, I really wish some games with <laughs> characters would die that dramatically right now. Cause yeah. It's okay to be a little over dramatic, huh? Yeah. It's really fun to see the characters react that much to bullets. Yeah. So you said, yeah, especially when they do the chicken before bullets. Yeah, I especially like that. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of these um, older FPSs, especially this one, I said, is you'd want to go back and replay it a lot. And, uh, it just has something really nice and special that just isn't really captured by right now with a lot of more realistic games. Yeah. Okay, Joanna, take a look at this. How the? Sorry, 
Sally is the they thought I'm gonna die. I'll uh, I'll let her do it. Shake it, not scared. <laughs> Classic. Classic. <laughs> Dry martini shaking last time. Dry martini deaths. <laughs> Says what? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a seems to work pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's horrible AI technology. Oh, sorry, so, yeah, that was uh, for that guard who, at the instant he saw Zenny, he threw a grenade. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's some amazing um, uh, reflexes right there for that guard. Yeah. They need to give that guard a raise. Huh? <laughs> Did the guard destroy the turret? Looks like, looks he like shot he the shot him. <laughs> even if I did, it's fine. Sonny says, yeah, he did. He did that, uh, that, that bond shooting towards the turret. Is that the thing you need to disable? Shut down air intercept radar. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, you have like the the um, explosive? Uh, I don't have it fully. Well, I think. Yeah, let's see. I guess I'll have to shoot. I wonder if you can destroy it with this guy. I have to stand in front of the turret and redo that. <laughs>
probably have to bring the radar down and then throw up <laughs> Probably. But I'm getting that feeling. You might have stumped yourself right now. just may have, yeah. Did one of the guards, did the guard that just like suddenly throw a grenade at you back there? Did he go to his dead body? Do you think he had like a spare grenade on him or something? Oh, uh, maybe. Hello? <laughs> I love the idea of a super lethal secret agent who randomly shoots an antenna three times and rides a bike to do three loops around it and then leaves. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Well, Pick if you can't up. find any uh, grenades, well, I, I guess, guess you can try to uh, use your. I guess you can try to unload your entire uh, all of your bullets on it. <laughs> oh yes, I can try. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually destroy the... Something else that... Imagine the guards watching the security traps. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Yeah, they're, they're being attacked by the worst spy ever. Yeah. So it says if this game had mouse and keyboard controls, it would be awesome. Uh, 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 since, I'm, since I wasn't a PC gamer back in the day, I was mostly in the arcades and, and then played on console. I never really got into the mouse and keyboard controls, so it still feels kind of clumsy to me. I know everyone says this. My FPS is so much better with mouse and keyboard. I'm sure it probably is, but yeah. I just got too used to controllers. I bet there's probably a mod for mouse and keyboard support, though. I don't know. Bulls builds. Uh, Salyam says, I'm better with controller, but this one could use a redo of the controls. Oh. Did you just run that time? Uh, the guns just don't seem to do it. So you're gonna walk around until you find some grenades? <laughs> well, I'll see if I can find some. <laughs> so he says, imagine aiming this with the crappy Nintendo 64 stick. Now, it was only one stick, so I can't... I'm, I'm pretty sure it was pretty hard to control, huh? Yeah... Oh, it says you needed to use the C buttons, the yellow D-pad uh, you had on the right. Uh, okay, so that would be pretty challenging, huh? Oh. Yeah. I remember playing um, uh, Doom on the um, uh, 32X and uh, Wolfenstein on the Genesis and also um, uh, Zero Tolerance on the Genesis. Yeah. I still enjoyed those games, but thinking back, like, the controls were so funky. <laughs> 
with FPS is back and yeah. with the, the Genesis controller and everything. But I still really enjoyed those games. I probably would feel different back to them. Weapon. You picked Locked. up the rocket launcher, yes! Now you can destroy them. And, uh... Guy also had... Just sit around down there first. I was pretty sure I made a circle and I didn't see it. Hmm. <laughs> so he says you need to think like a Spanish to solve this one. <laughs> hmm. Unfortunately, since I'm since we are both not Spanish, that might be challenging for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you went down. You go try smacking that red button then. I guess I can continue to smack the button. <laughs> old school. I remember like that was the answer to the the old um uh, the old TVs that when you could turn them to static, try smacking it. I'm 
I just do not see a, w a, a way of getting okay, through right there. I'm just gonna run over the thing and keep the grenades for that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you were kind of wasting the grenades, so. though. Yeah. Well, I didn't notice that I could easily destroy the turrets with that. If you get frustrated, tell me. I can give you a tip. Okay? Thanks for the support. We greatly appreciate it. Knowing I can destroy it now, it's a lot easier. Does he have like a uh, Star Wars laser gun or something? Is that like shh 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 shh? Kind of. Uh, Talia says sure thing. I know this game can be cryptic sometimes. Yeah. Mulder games tended to be like that. Huh? Sometimes you would truly, truly get stuck with all the games, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, with uh, Cold Veronica, that happened a few times. <laughs> yeah, Even though I went through it uh, originally. Yeah. I was just so, like, I got so confused a few yeah. times. Seeing you go through it again, I was surprised that I was able to go through it. Kind of, back in the day, fairly easily, to my It's kind of weird. I don't know, I guess, I guess maybe it's because... <laughs> the chicken <laughs> Yeah. Don't go in the door yet. You might get locked. Yeah. Make sure you destroy the antenna first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just by continuing to shoot it? I guess I can just see, see what happens when I just keep doing this. One.
Oh, yeah, really close to the buttons. It makes the hands look tiny. Yeah. Or is that buttons that's, insanely that's, that's re weird. It's this size, but when I'm here, <laughs> my uh, arms are just tiny. Yeah, it's all you have to do look how tiny her hands are. It's like yeah. a midget video. Yeah, that is just Yeah, that weird. is a huge ass button, huh? <laughs> I'm just surprised looking at how huge it is. Game Genie for everything that you could use. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could actually put in like clothes and get yeah, like cheats and yeah. something. Else. Picked up a shield. Oh, that's where your barrier for you. Nope. Ah, well, what the? What the? Maybe what the? Mines, I guess? What? Hmm. There is a mountain right there, right? A slight slope right there. There's just a block part. Oh wait, look. There's a door right there. So that's over there. Yeah, but you can still oh, be able to go around. you're talking about here. Yeah. Try punching it or something. <laughs> nope. Am I going up the slope right there? Won't I like explode again? I don't know. Wait, can you see from that slope? Can you see the that anywhere? No. Or can you can you use the spy cam to push buttons on the other side of things? Salyev says there is one part of the fence that's broken. I think it's like, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> 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 there's, there's your um, uh, your um, uh, clumsy Jenny moment of the <laughs> <Yeah>. part. <laughs> Well, I was thinking, I, I was thinking it was fishy. There was a, there were those rockets, that, oh, yeah. that, well, mines. Uh, so, yeah, so that's basically bait for players to explode when they go in. The rocket didn't work. You have more bolts in it? What? You only get one bullet? That doesn't work? No, you needed to use that one bullet to hit it from the side, maybe? <laughs> So 
that is that would just be too sad. Indie <laughs> culture. Send him the send you those nuke codes he stole. <laughs> yeah. Those new colds he stole the, that he was probably trying to sell to Russia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, what on the description for it? What does it say about the uh, shut down air intercept radar? It doesn't say destroy. It says shut down, right? Hmm. But there must be a reason why you can make the loop right there. underground area? Well... That thing wasn't working though. Uh, so yeah, so there should be objective descriptions if you press right or left in the menu. Uh, oh, yeah, it says briefing on the left. Uh, briefing, okay. Objective one. This device was capable of penetrating the stealth shielding of our al uh, allies craft so that the robot interceptors could be uh, vectored uh, in to bring them down. If your escape is to be successful, you must destroy the radar control unit with the explosives and it will likely be hidden underground surrounded by lots of mini frames. Ah, okay, so uh -oh. the does underground that, area is does, where you need to use the explosives. Does that mean this? Probably. You don't have a... No, you still have raised. One but you have it. Let's see, let's see if anything happens. Oh, okay, well... It still says incomplete. You probably need to destroy all this, all this stuff. Yes. Or you can continue to punch the shit. Hey, I could actually oh. shoot it. Satisfying. I guess this is what the, the Spanish method is. <laughs> yeah. I suppose I could have punched it too? Probably. Access the wow. bag. Now continue. I, I'm not sure if those are totally broken. Try punching them. <laughs> so it says you are almost right. Uh, one thing left to do. Obviously, this access denied. What about uh, what about the red button that you couldn't push before? Uh, it's destroyed. Oh, you destroyed it. says think on how to give the ultimate middle finger to that computer. Hmm. This one. Just the one. <laughs> Sawyer says not literally. <laughs> Checked, I didn't see it. Maybe you need to stick it or something. Oh. oh. No wonder it wasn't working. Security alert. Oh, 
Oh, I'm almost dead. Okay, well, that finally succeeded. Grab his, uh, sorry, says, and don't look back. Grab his a good chance the second you open the door, you'll get shot and you'll die. <laughs> like zero. Stand far back. Yeah, and straight. It says, yeah, it blows the entire bottom floor. Boy, I, I, uh, I feel goofy about that. <laughs> okay, well. This game, this game, some of the uh, items are very specific, though. Uh, well, yeah. You, you probably can't use it unless you're, like, there or you're yeah. against the wall. Because I saw the I saw that explo explosive uh, in my inventory, and I couldn't quite place it anywhere or throw it at anything, so I was confused. It had to be on the computer specifically. Ah. Ah. At least you died. I am almost dead. <laughs> accidentally kill the informant. I guess so. Oh yeah, says fingers crossed, but please also on the table. Okay, you might want to be careful with the auto aiming. Every once in a while, they don't want to do it. Oh, yes, they block them from it. I hate them. Agent Dark. I love the sound of the dragon fight. There you are. Fine. I was beginning to wonder if... If what? If you've been discovered yet. And frankly, if this is how you work, I'm amazed that you lasted longer than five minutes. I was tidying up one of your loose ends. My loose ends? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you wanted him to shoot you. I can call in some more guards if you like. Okay, okay, forget he it. Is a douche, huh? I'm going to let the Institute know we've made contact. Small characters.
Sally says, be right back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Rescue the crash one. The alien? Ah. Cool. The problem you have is that there is no way to sneak into the research section. The only way in available to you is a weak section of wall like marked in the room beyond the stores. It can be destroyed with explosives. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. Where are these explosives? In that crate. Cute. Very cute. By the way, the stores are crawling with guards. So it may go against your nature, but try sneaking <laughs> through rather than blasting everything. Certainly. Any other pearls of wisdom? That crate. Yes. It really doesn't like being shot. So that first stage two of the planet found the CEO and then just went down the elevator. Sound they have on the uh, guns inside chambers like this. Nice small detail. Yeah. I know, like, it's, it's not like the three bodies right now, but. There's someone here. Um, uh, because the volume was just like wherever someone was shooting, but um, uh, it's nice and big and fat kind of reverb or heavy. Almost kind of like a bathroom breather. <laughs> yeah. A child bathroom breather. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that sounds painful. Satisfying. Oh, well, um, uh, do you want to talk about some games then? Oh, sure. Okay, so, um, uh, it's been a while since they reported on the, uh, Hardware sales in Japan for Xbox, no, uh, but basically they've been around 200 to 500 every week. Uh, but the Alpha uh, was released this last week, and there was the uh, Xbox Series X bundled with the Diablo 4, and uh, a lot of people bought that. <laughs> uh, I saw a lot. I've, I've seen a lot of people stop talking about buying the Diablo bundle uh, on social networks in Japan. People, people seem to love the Diablo. Huh? Yeah, people love it. <laughs> Um, uh, especially Diablo 4, um, uh, so, and, the... And, and Diablo means devil in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, that thing that, uh, in Exile, in Exile social team continued to do. So, uh, the Xbox Series X, uh, sold 8,000, um, uh, 843 units this week. Probably because of, uh, because of the Diablo bundle. Because uh, Diablo for the Xbox for the Xbox Series also sold 8,524 copies, which is almost the exact same number as the uh, bundle marker. So yeah, so uh, it definitely helped. Uh, I still seen a lot of people buy it this week from uh, the Diablo bundle uh, because it's nice to hear. yeah. So I suppose uh, Phil Spencer was saying that they're trying to ramp up uh, on uh, releasing the hardware globally. Um, uh, 
and having enough numbers at the X, especially. Mm -hmm. uh, so it seems like it's working. I saw that uh, it was the best selling, uh, the Xbox Series X was the best selling of uh, SKU of hardware um, uh, at GameStop uh, online version of it. Uh, so yeah, it seems like they're finally starting to be able to manufacture more, or they, they prepared enough for this weekend at least. Mm -hmm. So that's good to see. Uh, the Series S sold 273 units uh, put together. The Xbox Series has sold 9,113 uh, units this week in Japan, which is pretty great. One of the best weeks they've had. Yeah. And, like I said, since it was bundled with the Series X, uh, Diablo actually was the number 5 best-selling game. The Xbox Series version of it was the number 5 best-selling game. In Japan, which is unusual to see because almost no packaged versions of games are released here for the Xbox. It's mostly exclusively digital. And actually, the uh, Diablo 4 that comes with the uh, Xbox is a digital code. So it's not a packaged version, but they can track it because it's bundle bundled with the hardware. Yeah. Is that so? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. It's also nice to see. Yeah. Other than that, uh, Pragmata at the Capcom Direct Show. Pragmata yeah. was announced uh, with the a gameplay game teaser trailer for the first time they actually had gameplay of it. Oh, uh, the game gameplay looks really cool. The graphics are a lot better. The character modeling is very really improved since the last time they showed it. Uh, looks like it's a pretty cool game, uh, but they also announced that it'll be pushed back. So. Indefinitely. Yeah, well, they don't have a date. They said they want to take their time with it. Yeah. And I think they should. It looks like a cool game, so if it's pulled off, well, it should be good. Uh, also, Dragon's Dogma 2. There were some details for, from each little stuff huh? on Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, they're saying, like the predecessor, you can fully make your main pawn, and uh, you can hire two support pawns. So you can't make... You can't make all the pawns that travel with you, but you can hire pawns like you could in the first one. So you get your own little uh, monster hunter for a group team? Yeah. Um, uh, that was the same as the first one too. Um, I see people that want to make a party themselves, so they make extra accounts just to make <laughs> other characters to travel with. <laughs> I might do that, maybe. Uh, but that's a lot more time to spend <laughs> playing the game, so... Probably not. Uh, also, um... Your pawns can perform, uh, more precise decision now, decisions now, because really the AI is greatly improved this time around, which is good to hear. Uh, and this is both for your pawns and NPCs in the game, like town NPCs. They move more of a lifelike, apparently in the city and everything. Mm. Yeah, and the enemy's AI is a lot better too, apparently. Uh, also, um, uh, the uh, world mm -hmm. is roughly four times larger than the uh, first Dragon's Dogma, so that's cool. That's pretty big. Yeah. So it will be a, a pretty good sized open world this time. The first one wasn't too big, but it was big enough. So there will be a lot to explore in the new one. Which is cool. Um, uh, there is greatly improved physics in the game too, and they play a part of the battle this time. So. And that gives the players a lot more freedom in um, uh, how they approach battles, apparently, and different situations. Um, uh, you can, like in the gameplay trailer, you saw uh, destroying, you know, a bridge that uh, that a, that a, like a, a cyclops is about to walk over, and I, I assume you can like make people fall over cliffs. That you can uh, pull characters' legs or feet. I, I assume that you can pull characters off of cliffs and make them fall and die and stuff. 
That's or maybe cool. maybe grab wall and aggressions and stuff like that too. Maybe the physics seemed to be really cool in the game. Uh, there was like a short segment where like a meteor magic that you summoned came flying down and like sent goblins into the air and stuff. That was just cool. so the a the advanced more advanced AI and more advanced physics will seems like it'll make the fighting a lot more dynamic, which is really awesome. There should be some hilarious moments in the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Sounds really cool. So I'm super, super hyped for Dragon Saga too. Seems to be more of one, but a lot better in every area. So, so pretty great. Hmm. Also, um, uh, mm -hmm. the census capital information, uh, Exo Primal, uh, open beta, just started the second one, today. Uh, you can play the early story missions in the game, and they had to be, uh, new 10-player co-op mode. Uh, well, I saw, I saw it said that if you, if you do the beta and you do a survey, you can get a character skin? Yeah, you can get a, a skin for your armor, apparently, so, yeah, um, uh, uh, it's still the 19th, so you have, like, three days now, two days, I guess, uh, well, three days now, so, uh, so, I want to give it a try, see how it is. I didn't play the first beta, but I might give the second one a try. Uh, the studio's uh, summer summit. Uh, I, was, I was getting ready, so I wasn't able to uh, hear any of this stuff for, for that. Okay, well, I guess I can um, uh, talk to you about what was announced or what they showed. Yeah, that would be appreciated. So, info update on... Uh, like a Dragon, uh, the man who erased his... Like a Dragon 7, Gaiden, the man who erased his name. Um, uh, they updated and explained the fighting styles. There's two fighting styles that you can switch between. Uh, the main fighting style in Japanese is the Oryu style. And, uh, Oryu is specifically the style or, um, uh, or the type of dragon tattoo that's on Chiryu's back. Mm -hmm. That's an audio, apparently. Uh, so basically, in English, though, that the audio style is the Yakuza style. Or Yakuza style. So, uh, and that is what you would expect from Chidi, right? That's his traditional fighting style. So, um, uh, the Chidi we know and love, basically. The other style that you can choose from is the Agent style. Now, this is where it gets pretty bonkers, but, um, uh, the agent style, <laughs> you can use a whole bunch of different kind of gadgets, and it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, uh, well, basically, it's kind of like a super spy, super agent, Joanna Dark kind of shit going on. <laughs> uh, you can summon drones, and you can use drones to attack, or use drones to to, to, um, uh, to attack enemies or, um, uh, or have them look other directions or whatnot. Uh, you can use, like, a grappling wire thing. 
to like attack enemies or blow enemies to you or tie them up. And uh, you can actually use the grappling uh, wire thing to grapple on to like random objects in the back and then pull them toward you and then use those to pick people with. Like. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Throw a wire at a pile at a huge ass pylon and then use that pylon to whack people over the head with kind of stuff. <laughs> so there are explosive cigarettes that you do have. So you can like set your cigarette with a, a, a lighter and then throw it at enemies and, and it will, the lighter will explode. <laughs> a whole lot of uh, cool gadgets it seems like. So that's pretty cool. Who the hell are you? Me. And the uh, main story for um, uh, for the man who erased his name, it's mainly in the uh, uh, Sultan Bloody Osaka. That's That's for Kiryu, yeah. So nor you are normally would just spend a little bit of time in sold in. Yeah, but they were also saying that um, uh, Yokohama and um, uh, Shinjuku are also locations that you can go to. Also, but the main story progresses in sold in, and it goes back and forth a little bit between uh, Yokohama currently and um, uh, and. Uh, they announced a couple of characters that some uh, guest actors will be playing and they call them on stage and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> interestingly, uh, one of the characters, uh, one of the female characters called Akami, and uh, uh, one of the characters at Osaka, mm -hmm. uh, is played by um, uh, is played by a uh, actress that is a huge fan. Of, of Yakuza or Like a Dragon. Um, uh, first Summer Uika. <laughs> I'm sure people in the West have no idea who she is. Um, uh, but the uh, ex idol. An ex idol, now actress, and kind of. kind of talent, TV talent. <laughs> Has a good sense of humor pretty funny person. But um, uh, what's kind of funny is that she actually auditioned. There was an audition for uh, the man who erased his name and, and uh, like a dragon mate. That uh, they have cabaret hostesses in that game and they have actual people play those hostesses. Uh, so I says, hi, I'm back. Uh, how did it go with Mr. Floaty with Pokemon? <laughs> How'd it go? I somehow got got into the lab. <laughs> Good problem. Oh, I'm not. Need to find the alien now. Yeah, so going back, so apparently she, she's a huge fan of uh, Like a Dragon, and she became a huge fan because, like, during um, uh, COVID, uh, she didn't have a lot of work, like a lot of people, and she had a lot of free time, and she started playing uh, Like a Dragon 7, and she totally got hooked on it, apparently. Oh, so it says, if the box explodes and you uh, fail the objective, you can still continue by throwing one uh, dragon in explosive mode uh, next to the wall uh, you need to explode, and then shooting at it. The wall next to the uh, explode. Yeah, uh, so you said if, if the box explodes and you fail the objective, you can still continue by throwing one dragon in explosive mode uh, next to the wall you need to explode, and then shooting at it. You see, it says I failed it.
Did I feel a little bit active? I don't see, I don't see the alien. Hands up and step away from the alien. Don't make me tell you again, Doctor. And turn that laser off. Well, that looked fairly smoothly. Yeah, I was uh, lost for a while until I noticed I had x ray vision. Until you noticed you had x ray vision? Yeah. From what the hell do you think you're doing? This is supposed to be a sealed room. <laughs> don't you know anything about autopsy procedures? I don't care much for procedures. Director Easton will hear about this young lady. You can't take that. Sorry, it says, oh, oh, you have a USA flag on this bus. It's unprofessional. Strangely, it says that I. I guess it's because I have the hardware set on there. Yeah. Normally, even if it, it, even if it does it, usually it doesn't, usually still shows no. Japan. Yes. Yeah. No, that, uh, that so with the Xbox, since a lot of times Jenny usually plays the games in English if it's from America. Uh, Jenny usually has her Xbox set to the American region because when you download it, it downloads the English text and the English voiceovers. Yeah. And, and sadly, a lot of games are censored here yeah. when, uh, when, when there's violence. Yeah. Violence in games here are, are pretty, um, pretty sensitive over here, specifically in games, unfortunately. Um, uh, but yeah, to, to, to get the uncensored version of games, we usually install it on the American region. <laughs> yeah. So he says, oh wow, really? In the land of short skirts and anatomically impossible dresses? Yes. Um, uh, uh, they're very, very um, uh, sensitive towards violence towards people in games. Yeah. Um, uh, because of a a, uh, a, a minor uh, psychopath. psychopath killer. Yeah, um, uh, that and, happened a long time yes, ago. And unfortunately, uh, video games were blamed for that. And <laughs> since then, games have meaninglessly been uh, heavily censored for violence. Yeah. Yeah, so for, well, short story, a uh, long story short, there's this psychopath that, that, like, killed a couple of kids, and, um, uh, and he himself was a minor, but, um, uh, one of, one of the things he blamed was games, um, uh, for him being unstable or whatever, you know, uh,
Uh, so Sawyer says, says, yeah, we had one kid with a ton of that killed his father because he believed he was a uh, skull from Final um, uh, skull from Final Fantasy VIII, so video games were blamed as well. Yeah, it happens all over the world, huh? I remember there's stuff like that in America, too, when we were in America. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's like, it's like, uh, games are usually fodder toward things like that. So, anyways, uh, that, that incident caused Japan to create an organization called CISA, which is basically the ESRB, uh, equivalent to Japan. But because that, um, uh, kind of triggered, was a trigger for that organization, um, uh, to create a rating system that was more proper. They're especially sensitive toward, uh, decapitation and, uh, violence from people to people. Yeah. So, um, uh... So a fairly good amount of games are censored over here. Decapitation is generally a no-no. It's a pretty un- it's a pretty unique and weird situation. Yeah. <coughs> so it says, I'm surprised sexualizing women is okay, but violence is a no-go. Here, it's the opposite. Yeah, um, uh, but actually the sexualizing women is becoming more and more of, uh, uh, careful, at least on the consumer. Uh, well, at least on the council side. The PC side, the CISA is only, um, uh, only covers, uh, council games. They don't cover PC games, so the PC side is, yeah, people can do whatever the hell they want on PC. Yeah. But it's specifically, um, uh, it's specifically council side that CISA covers. <laughs> Every time I see the girls from Xenoblade 2, I face them very hard. Uh, they are very suggestive. <laughs> I I've I've seen some uh, uh, people who have families say that um uh, Joanna they, no. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get back to our friend. <laughs> Joanna <laughs> <laughs> That was dangerous. I almost killed him. Yeah, what were you saying? Oh, it's just, um, uh, that, uh, I've seen people who have children say that when they, uh, were playing the game and their daughter passed by that they looked at them with total disgust. Yeah, I saw a couple of people say that. And said that, um, uh, they turned the game off right away and never played it when the, uh, their daughter were around anymore. Yeah. But why in the love of God would you have plate armor that covers everything but the belly button and the breasts? Yeah, good point. <laughs> We've got a my gun. So in your case, it's more about um, uh, in a way, the first and the designs taking away from that. I In my case, um, uh, since I myself am, uh, well, kind of in, in the creative realm as the work work that I do, um, uh, uh, I I don't really care whether there's extreme censorship or zero censorship. I don't really care. If that's what the creator wants, then fine, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about it. If I don't like it, I'm just not going to play it or read it or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's 
Yeah, so he says, yeah, for me it's taking away the logic of the armor to go for six. Yeah, I totally understand that too. And in a lot, in a lot of cases, it does kind of take you out of, you know, the world. So I understand that too. You've gotten a comment from another um, uh, person that uh, comes around, <laughs> hangs out every once in a while. Uh, Mevo Rainy Mevo, aka Mevo <laughs> Um, uh, that always only comments with them, uh, stamps or emoji. Um, so I'll, I'll explain to um, uh, I'll explain to you what uh, Mevo Rainy wrote in. Mm -hmm. uh, Mibore-san left a comment that is, uh, chat with sunglasses, robot, chat, what the hell? You can talk. I'm alive. I thought I'd be chopped up like the others by now. You're from awesome. the Institute, aren't you? I recognize you from before. You helped me. Thank you. You, you speak our language? Watch her, she's sharp. What's wrong? I have a headache. And with a head this big, that's no joke. <laughs> Can you walk? We must leave before they get organized and hunt us down. I think so. What's your name? I'm Agent Dark. Or Joanna, if you'd prefer. Well, Joanna. I'm Protector One, but you can call me Elvis. Yeah, the little gray is awesome. <laughs> yeah, so going back, uh, Mevo, Mevo, Rainy Mevo, aka Mevo, is a uh, uh, comment is a cat with sunglasses, robot, cat with sunglasses, um, a birthday hat, a, a ghost, a green ghost, and a cat with sunglasses. I have no idea what that means. I guess maybe someone, someone's person. <laughs> um, maybe the ghost, maybe the cat, maybe the robot. Um, that would definitely be an interesting um, uh, image to prompt on uh, uh, an image, an AI image creation thing. Uh, Sally have also um, uh, commented toward the new voice that I'm also a cat person. But we can't leave behind. There must be a way out I'll get out on that hover bike. Now cover me while I open the doors. <laughs> That's pretty cool because uh, all of the people here right now are cat people. <laughs> cat people. Cat people. Speaking of chat people, um, it does seem like uh, you can make uh, chat people in Dragon's Talk, but to ask a pump. I'm not sure about your main character. 
get that as your bones you can. So he has a nickel for the win. Awesome. <laughs> for the win. Oh! Nibo Rainy Nibo, aka Nibo is not actually responding to all of with uh, no words, but just emoji. Cat and a uh, tune, uh, uh, a, 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 a musical note, and a, a purple heart. I, I assume that means thank you, or I love cats. <laughs> so he says, I guess they uh, love funky cats. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Well, the stream has been going on for almost two hours now. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually been going on pretty well. You make a lot of progress, so. Oh, yeah, what? progress and getting lost, <laughs> not not knowing what to do with the, the computer. Yeah, might be a good place to stop right now, so uh, you can come back next week to finish the game. I assume I'm close. You might, but also you might want to, uh, just in case, you might want to think of a pre-install game. Um, uh, uh, what I'm sorry, but yeah, you, uh, you watching wrecking uh, that antenna like a Gruyere cheese was fun. <laughs> yeah, that, that was some, some that deep was black. <laughs> so you might want to save the ending for next week. Yeah, not unless I like unless that, you that an antenna stuff. <laughs> <going on. laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, we can come back to the uh, conclusion of Perfect Dark 1 next week. Might want to pre-install something just in case you finish the game early on. Hmm. I don't know. If, uh, I'll, you should check on if it's okay to stream. Um, uh, the Nintendo 64 recently remastered, or well, re-released GoldenEye. If it's okay to stream that or not. Uh, if it is, that might be kind of fun. That, that seems really fishy. There, there are some licenses. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it might not be okay to stream. You might want to look into it, but if it is, you might want to pre-install that. If it isn't, you might want to pre-install something else just in case. Huh. Yeah. Possibly. Anywho, we, can, we have a week to think about it. <laughs> so, uh, it was a pretty successful stream this week. Uh, so since it has the face of the actor, it might trigger some crappy twitching. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking it might do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll look into it, but probably not. So, we have a week to think about it. Yeah. So, uh... And, and, the, and the theme also and stuff. Yeah. So, would you like to wrap up the stream then? Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you everyone who came by, uh, thank you for all your, uh, well, I may have been stuck on that stage. Yeah, a lot longer. The, the entirety of the <laughs> stream. <laughs> the entire stream would have been that stage. stage. Yeah. Like, what, what is, am I supposed to do? <laughs> no problem. But uh, I was able to get through there and uh, might get to the ending. Maybe. Might end up getting stuck again. Fingers crossed. Zalia says it's my pleasure as always. Thank you. And, uh, well, I'll try to see if I can reach the end without the, uh, any, any more of that goofiness. Mm -hmm. But, uh, hope everyone enjoyed it and hope to see you next week. And stuff. Backlog is on YouTube for anyone interested. A lot of Go goofy, goofiness. Clumsy Jenny yeah. moments. <laughs> yeah. Sad clumsy. Yeah. Salia says have a nice weekend, you too, and take care. Thank you. Uh, uh, thanks, uh, ev everyone else watching, and uh, until next week, remember, good night and keep smiling. Awesome. So? Uh, you can see us next week, um, uh, 0 o'clock Saturday Japan time. 
every week we um, uh, stream in English on that day. Uh, backlog or well, um, uh, archives are put up on YouTube. If you go to YouTube and put in Z G E N N Y Y in the um, uh, search bar, you can find Jenny right away. A uh, like, subscribe, notify would be greatly appreciated. I uh, hope you have a great weekend and a great week. Hope to see you next week and uh, bye bye. See ya.